Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Liquid gold. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm, I, I could see a stack of pancakes for dinner tonight, couldn't you? After, mm. after that Are you making so Two some? doses because you put it in your coffee in the morning. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. I'm I, sure I'm not the only one around here. No, that, no, right? no. Sometimes a spoon is all you need. <laughs> Hey, we got a cool <laughs> drone shot uh, over Mallets Bay. Jeff Lefevre sent this in. This is uh, Niquette Bay State Park on the left. This would be inner Mallets Bay. And we've got the ice for sure, but it doesn't look very thick there out in the middle of the water. And of course, Mount Mansfield. This is right over Braylock Road in Colchester. Now we've also got the light that's still left in the sky on our camera there looking out over the Adirondacks from Burlington 56 degrees so we're down one degree at six o'clock still a sustained wind out of the south at 13 miles per hour probably noticed that today even some 40s and 50s in New York 55 for Potsdam got closer to 60 in parts of Rutland and Bennington counties too but now we've got a 52 in Rutland but the only rain is still there up over far northern portions of New York and that will continue to drift north North and east, so the northern Champlain Islands probably seeing a little bit of wetness right now, but it's not very heavy and we're mostly quiet for the rest of the night and for the daytime tomorrow. Just a lot of clouds in play. Best chance for sun central Vermont point south for Thursday already Thursday. And then as we get into tomorrow evening, it's a wintry mix that comes in. So yes, it's still mild tomorrow, but just in time, some cold air comes down and meets up with this moisture that's coming in. So the pink color means a mix. It's really not much pure snow. It would be a mix of everything, even some plain raindrops. And that keeps going through into Friday morning, about eight o'clock in the morning Friday. That's when it starts to exit and it turns windy and cold with some breaks of sun by Friday afternoon. So in terms of how much snow, it's not a lot and it's kind of the icy, messy kind that's crunchy in this white color could be a dusting to two inches. That's Plattsburgh point south best area seeing the chance for two plus would be Malone over towards about Altona and then northern Vermont down through Burlington and Middlebury a dusting to two inches of that sloppy, crunchy, icy mess for Friday morning doesn't last very long. Shouldn't even see much snow accumulation south of Route 4. But the ice potential is there. This would be a glaze ice potential that could make it slippery. Now it is warm, obviously, going into Friday morning, so I don't think that's a slam dunk forecast, but the potential is at least there as that moisture comes overhead and meets up with the incoming cold. So we'll watch it closely. This night is not cold at all, just about 40 in many areas. And we'll go up a few degrees tomorrow, but we start to see the sign of that colder air coming in. So Malone only 38. About 50 or so in Burlington and especially south. That's where the warm air is still in place tomorrow. So Rockingham at 52 with the clouds and some breaks of sun south. So it's mostly Thursday night into Friday morning for that icy mix. That's why that impact icon is there. And then much better later in the day Friday. Just very cold with a gusty northwest wind. The sun is out on Saturday 35. That's a nice February day. And then the clouds are back for Sunday and Monday, maybe even some rain showers by President's Day. Alice Bryan. All right, Tyler.